Hello and welcome to Nakik World Podcast, coming to you live from the beautiful country of Switzerland. I am your host, Stacy. Welcome back to our listeners. We have reached the eve of Christmas and in this episode we will be continuing on the theme of the previous podcast episode which was all about this wonderful time of year, Christmas. It's unbelievable how quickly time flies by. I can hardly believe that it's already Christmas time. Despite our best efforts to savor every moment each year, we seem surprised by how quickly holiday season arrives and passes us by. Though we may not want to admit it, we all go through different waves of emotions on Christmas, from the highs to the lows, and it's important to be conscious of these emotions and not to just simply brush over them. It's important to be in tune with our emotions and to process them properly, because it is especially easy to feel overwhelmed at this time of year. A big reason why this time of year brings up a lot of emotions is also because of the memories that we have. In the last podcast episode, I opened up about my own personal loss and how this time of year is still incredibly difficult for me. I struggled and I'm still struggling to learn how to deal with the oceans of emotion that come up during this season. What I've learned so far is that I definitely tend to suppress these feelings because it's, it's simply too hard to even think about. What I am finding helpful is to open up and allow these emotions in and allow them time to exhale. I do this through music. Almost every memory we have is linked to a song or a piece of music. So what I do in my own private time is listen to a specific piece of music or a song that I have associated with certain emotions. And I try to just give my feelings a little space. I'm sure we all know what happens when we suppress our emotions. So be brave. I encourage you, have the courage to open up and walk through these feelings. It's not easy, but in the long run, it can prove to be helpful. You are listening to Nakik World Podcast, coming to you live from Switzerland. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Nakik World Podcast platform. Our email address is podcast at nacinchina.com. When I was a child, Christmas time meant only good things. Great food, family gatherings, nothing could be better. But as we grow up, we also realize that Christmas time is also an intensely stressful time of the year. It's the end of the year, everyone's running on low energy and in desperate need of a break. A friend of mine told me last week that she will spend the entire holiday break sleeping. And I'm sure we can all relate to that feeling, especially after the traumatic year that we have had. But in between the Christmas preparations and the excitement, it is also very important to really take a break and even more so to give others a break as well. Sometimes we are so focused on what we are going through and of course that is understandable. But as the song goes, Christmas is a time to love. This festive day represents the birth of Christ. And he taught us how important it is to love one another and to treat our neighbors with love and kindness. And Christmas 2020 is no different. If this is the season of giving, let us give love. Love for ourselves and for our neighbors too. Love yourself enough to acknowledge what you're feeling and what you're going through. I know how hard this is to do, and to many this is not a priority. But I promise you whether or not you want to acknowledge it, you will only be doing yourself a disservice. So try and love yourself and say, you know what, I need a break. And then take a look around you. What about the people in your life around you? We will find that when we apply a little bit of consideration, 
we will understand much more. Sometimes I walk around and I think to myself, can't we just be nicer to each other? We are all struggling. Would it kill us to just be kind to one another? Of course not. I'm sure we are all capable of it. Let this love and kindness fill our hearts this Christmas and overflow onto our neighbors. You are listening to Nakik World Podcast, coming to you live from Switzerland. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Nakik World Podcast platform. Our email address is podcast at nacinchina.com. Over the last weeks, I've read countless articles on Christmas and the emotions that come up during this time of the year. A few things stood out for me. One in particular was related to dealing with grief during this period. And of course, there are many types of grief. Did you know that we also grieve change? I was reminded of my younger days as a child. I was not a huge supporter of change. As an adult, I can now see that change is often related with instability. And no one wants to feel like they are not standing on solid ground. I'm sure for many of you that Christmas 2020 will indeed be very different than what we traditionally have experienced in the past. And this change also comes with its own share of emotions. Yes, it, it is sad that we will have to make so many changes to accommodate the local restrictions due to the pandemic. Um, where I am, family gatherings are strictly prohibited. All stores, restaurants, cafes will be locked as well. Yeah, it doesn't sound so nice. And when I think of the great and elaborate Christmas celebrations that I've had in the past, it does put a little damper on my joy. On the other hand, some of us might be filled with a deep thankfulness for the restrictions because it also means we don't have to spend time with some of the more annoying family members. But let's flip it around and let's look at this as an opportunity, a chance for us to celebrate this holiday on our own terms without the usual pressures. Maybe this Christmas can be a very important time for us to be aware of ourselves, how we are feeling. It can be a time to reach out for support, for guidance, or to offer support, to offer guidance, to claim back our freedom to choose and to choose our own happiness, however that may look. In a nutshell, don't focus on the sadness of a different Christmas, but look at the opportunities behind it. You are listening to Nakik World Podcast, coming to you live from Switzerland. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Nakik World Podcast platform. Our email address is podcast at nacinchina.com. So Christmas will be here in just a moment. And Despite all the difficulties we had to endure during 2020, I'm sure that many of us still have much to be thankful for. And when we're feeling overwhelmed this Christmas, let us remember and focus on what we have instead of what we are lacking. That concludes this podcast. The Nakik World Team wishes you a most blessed Christmas 2020. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Nakik World Podcast platform. Our email address is podcast at nacinchina.com. Nakik World Podcast is broadcasted twice weekly, every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. Beijing time. Until next time, goodbye from a beautiful Switzerland. <laughs>